Hey guys, Jen here with Serenity Hill Farmstead. This week is going to be dedicated to homeschool prep. So we're having a full five days of homeschool prep week. I know I was gonna start this on Monday, but this mess that you see right here, this took two days, um, as you'll see by the change of clothes in here. Uh, and don't mind that water stain on my shirt there. I had just gotten done from doing a ton of dishes. But back to homeschooling. So. Everybody homeschool preps differently. Everybody prepares for their homeschool year to start differently. Some people do very little to no homeschool prep. They just open their curriculum and go. Other people do a ton of homeschool prep. And I have always, year after year, fallen into the latter. I need to prep not just my curriculum, not just that homeschooling space, because we don't have just one homeschooling space. We school wherever we land, and we school in the house and out of the house. So I really wanna have my home, my whole home, and all what I call the hot zones, taken care of and organized. This space right here is always a disaster. This is the landing spot, this and the island in the kitchen, but this spot specifically is the landing spot for everything. So I took a couple days to really figure out this space because every time that I have tried to take care of this space, it ends up going right back into this disaster within a couple weeks. And I would love to be able to say, normally my desk doesn't get that messy because that is shocking how bad that desk is when I'm seeing it here on camera. But it does um, because it's out of the way and our bedroom, our master bedroom area, always seems to be the last thing to be taken care of. And this office being in there, well, naturally, that's just part of it. Now every single time this desk has gotten this messy, I have sorted things, put things away, put them where they belong, but the papers, I always end up sticking them in a milk crate to deal with later, and then I never deal with them, as you'll see later when I finally get to deal with the milk crate. So today, on this desk has always been an issue. It took up almost half the space of this beautiful desk that my husband built me a few years back, and I'm sick of having it there. I also have another printer underneath. I know you're wondering, why do you have two printers? Because one is color and one is not, and it is a better quality, and I use that for all of my business stuff. So, we needed to have some good storage here, so my husband built this shelf thing that I could use, and I love the way this turned out. So here's that milk crate I was talking about, and a box because the milk crate has overflowed. So now all I'm gonna do is sort the things that are garbage and that I really don't need, even though I really wanna keep, along with some cute pictures that I'm gonna show you along the way, though this is super speech, so I have no idea if you are going to really be able to see these pictures.
figured while I was at it, I might as well go through these baskets and make sense of what's in them and purge out the things that I don't need in there. I'm finally done. Uh, you can see this is a super small space to be doing everything that I do out of it. So I have to be creative with the space. Uh, the only thing I bought new were these two that I bought from Hobby Lobby and they were actually on sale. Wall hangs were 50% off so I got those for I think $20 total. So I got all my books up there, my oils, I've got storage for office stuff, headphones and art, my ukulele and I'm going to hang my purse there I think. Uh, just some other random couple things that really I have no other good place for. Um, this is like tripod lighting and stuff for photography and videography and more tripods and packaging and shipping and mailing stuff for my soap business. And the only thing I have sitting on the desk is my camera bag and my computer and these are my planners and the pens and that's it. I did my storage for paper on top of the radiator. Uh, whoops, so in winter, I'm probably gonna have to pick a different spot for that just because that's our heat source. And the printers are over here. My husband built this out of the same wood that we had left over from building the desk that he built. And this is perfect storage because, I'm really happy with this. At first I thought it might have been a little too big, but it's perfect because you've got move, uh, space to move around. There's a lot of extra space here for that. Uh, because before, when we had still the printers on the desk, I was having to run cords. So there were cords coming down here, there were cords coming down here, cord here, and then we had to constantly be deciding what was going to be plugged in. So now we've got the power strip here, and everything works really well. And I've got everything off the ground, and it's much better. This is such a source of distraction for me, so I'm really glad I got this done. So thanks for coming along with me today while I get this home office under control. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that red subscribe button along with the notification bell so you can get notified when the next homeschool prep video comes out. I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I prep the rest of our home and myself and our curriculum, all of the things, so that we can have a good start to our homeschool year. I hope you guys are all doing well and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.